continue to witness a very abrasive market environment. We see the signal strength trader was down on the day. It was down. We're down about minus 1,300 on the day. The stop loss was 1,500. We got in a little bit better price, and so stopped out. Looked like we would get a gap continuation trade today. Didn't really want to take this trade, but you know, in anticipation of two trading days left in the month and no real moves, we thought we might get one. But um, you know, it came all the way back down to its lows, bounced, came back to its lows, bounced came back to its lows and now it's trying to at the end of the day take out the highs very very stop runny back and forth the bulls want to drive this market up they don't want october to end up down on the month october is supposed to be bullish and they want the the those on the sidelines to um feel like they're missing out fomo fear of missing out and that's what the um you know the the bullish the, the perma bulls will try to do that. They'll try to um, buy this market up and say, hey, how's that fixed income? How's your fixed income investment going? And so if October, which is supposed to be very bullish, ends up down on the month and, um, you know, that that's that could be it's it's if it's it's minus three percent right now, roughly on the Nasdaq. And so it's supposed to be bullish. That's pretty big down month from an index perspective in a very bullish seasonality bullish seasonals and so um really a lot of you know a lot of buyers come in here and then a lot of sellers come in here and it's just a lot of back and forth what feels like stop running price action so very very difficult to trade this we're down about minus 0 0.5 percent on the month we were about break even coming in on the 250k portfolio but we're down uh, 1300 today, which is about a half of a percent. And so let's look at the um, other portfolios and trading systems. So the S&P trader portfolio is, um, you continue to see these stop losses being a little too tight on Cobra 3, minus 625 times three on three different versions of this. And you see minus 437.50 on adaptive moving average, minus 825 on tick wave, minus 1225 on DTM4. SR Kenner trend, it was a short trade, short trades on the day. Short trade stopped out near the highs. Long trade stopped out near the lows. Worst case scenario, many days in a row on a lot of strategies. Really difficult market. Like I said, minus 725 and momentum reversal got short, minus 1225. Gap fill one, minus 725 stopped out near the highs. And the only thing that's really doing well today is Tick Chop News plus 975. That's on the S&P. Let's look at the NASDAQ strategies. Um, that's the S&P. The um, single string trader looks at these NASDAQ strategies. So Viper had a losing trade, two winners, minus, seven, minus 75 on the day. Cobra 3, minus 1,020 on the day, minus 425 on robot. Looked like we might get a robot type trade today. And no such luck, um, just not getting those breakaway trades at the open anymore for a very long period of time. And so that's been a market mode that we've exploited. And it's not, we've been um, risk averse and trying to sync up with this market. EVP1 um, plus 650, EVP1 plus 355. This is the, um, let's see. This has a different stop loss. So they're both long now going into the close. Tick pullback plus 15.15 and has a pretty big stop loss. So it weathered this drawdown. Tick reversal minus 1655. Tick long minus 540 or plus 545. Magnificent 7 plus 570. Momentum reversal minus 1225. Let's look at the money management algorithm indicator. It was up about 3,000, almost 4,000 early, up 4,400 early. And then it went down almost 10,000, had about a $14,000 intraday drawdown. At the end of the day, it's around minus 2,300, and it is net long six contracts up here. So the market rallied, and it came back, took out the lows, bounced, took out the lows, or traded down to the lows, bounced, traded down at the lows, and then has rallied since about 1,300. That seems to be the time of the day when the market consistently wants to rally lately is 1,300. And so... Um, just a difficult market to trade. Like I said, we're risk averse. We're trading one contract per 250K right now on the single strength trader. 
and we were down today so down a half a percent on the month let's look at some of the things that are working so here are some strategies that I put together just uh, on the 27th just last week Friday Thursday time frame uh, based on some of my observations in, into what is working right now and let me expand this screen this one focuses on buying at 1300 and it's really been uh, an extreme inefficiency since inefficiency is good uh, when the market is very efficient it's hard to exploit and this is one of the most um, the biggest inefficiencies since June though so what do you do when you just discover a strategy that's worked since June uh, you know four months of history maybe and let's take a look at the history on that though it's really really good um, let's look at this um, pull this performance summary in since June 5735 drawdown four hundred eight dollars average trade profit 62 out of 104 trades and just this does this is a closed trade equity so it doesn't show this trade right here this will be a um, over 100 point trade over two thousand dollar trade so new equity peaks on this and is a long only or it's actually short it takes short trades as well it takes turning points at that 1300 mark if it's up or down and so let's look back at some short trades see that 1300 dip buying and you can see let's find a short trade there's a short trade this happened at 1300 so the market likes to reverse at 1300 Eastern Time there's one 1300 another 1300 tried to go along here actually it's actually more profitable on the short side 28050 versus 14 taking reversal trades at 1300 very simple setup uses a $2,500 drawdown and so like I said it's only a short history and this is not typical of this market so what do you do when strategies that patterns that you've seen work for years don't work but strategy but patterns that have not worked for very long that have not worked uh, historically just start working really well what do you do in that situation that's what you that's why we're waiting because it's it's hard to determine what you do in that situation when a lot of the patterns that uh, you depend on just don't work well and a lot of the patterns that don't work well are just all of a sudden really working really well and so one of the ways I try to determine what I should do in a drawdown is to find out what is working and to see how uh, how much different that is than what we've been doing and here's another one that takes reversals at the highs and lows during the day starting in the pre-market it can do this um, and so you can just see it's taken this short trade stopped out took that short trade got right back in ping ponged in here and you can see some trades here last week and these are just these are just sloppy type trades that don't typically work in for a longer period of time over this time period and you can see um, up 38k 257 average trade profit 62 percent profitable 8670 is the drawdown 14k on the long side and 22k on the short side here is the equity curve so nice trades on taking sloppy trades which um, you know is a uh, why we're like I said why we are paused and waiting <clears throat> here's the portfolio calculated through Friday and we're taking a look at um, you know these drawdowns and so it's not one of the things I'm not trying to do just to be clear as I'm not trying to pick a turning point in this drawdown and catch the run back up to equity peaks I'm not concerned about that at this point because a lot of strategies are struggling and so it's not I would like to see that I would like to see these strategies return to equity peaks even even if we're not trading them so I would love I would love to see the strategy start performing well I'd love to see the market um, start to trade in ways that we're more familiar with and so and then we can sort it out because we had we end up having a uh, portfolios with larger drawdowns so we have to sort these out and find out which strategies we want to continue trading and which ones we want to pull back on if we want to trade less strategies this is as of Friday for the S&P 21 it was in 22,000 at 20 almost $30,000 drawdown and so it is down here at this level we'll see where it is at the end of today a lot of uh, more drawdowns today and so um, because of the the nature of the fundamentals the, the environment that we're in and you know talks of World War three higher interest rates like I said uh, inability of the market to trend on the downside because it continues to um, it continues to fight the downtrend with the entitled liquidity um, we're just we 
we would like to see some recovery and some normalcy in this market um, before we get uh, before we just jump in one of these portfolios. Now uh, tomorrow is a different story. Um, tomorrow is the last day of the month, and tomorrow could be an opportunity to trade some of these strategies that take long only trades with tighter stops. And so I'm going to be trading the single strength trader, but I may look at things like tick pulse, uh, AT2022, EVPs, uh, robots, and those types of strategies um, in the NASDAQ, the trending strategies in the NASDAQ and the S&P, and, um, you know, like I said, the bulls do not want the market to go be down on the month, and there's there's some there is uh, some work to do within one day to get to that point. I don't know if they have the uh, capacity to do that, and the market may roll over tomorrow as well. So I'm surprised at the bounce. The bounce is pretty small right now. So if we're looking at the Dow, the um, the bounce from October the 20th, Oct September 29th, the close was 33.50. Dow needs about 500, over 500 points to get back to break even. The NASDAQ has about 400 points to get back to 13,219, over, yeah, over 400 points. This is the NASDAQ composite. And the S&P, we're looking at the cash indexes now. The NASDAQ composite, S&P composite, and Dow. Close was 42.8805 on the quarter. It has about 120 points to go to get up to this number right there so it looks like you know more than likely unless there's a big rally uh, on the last day of October that um, you know these these indexes are going to end up down on the month during what's supposed to be a very bullish quarter and so um, the bulls are bulls and dip buyers are probably pretty frustrated right now um, this bounce that we've had since um, last Thursday is pretty weak um, there's a lot of optimism. This is the S&P on a five-minute chart. Again, we're looking at, we typically look at the futures. We're looking at the uh, indexes right now. <clears throat> That's not really, uh, it's not really my idea of a strong bounce um, from last Thursday. So let's look at the 60-minute bars. And going back to 929, see here is the, here is close of last quarter right here. So the close of the last quarter, it's traded a little more on the downside than on the upside of the quarterly close. Traded as high as 13,700 and down as low as 12,546. And it's only about 250 points off of that. That's an easy move. It can make an easy move down to the lows tomorrow. So, um, you know, a lot of uncertainty in the market. A lot of we continue with the single strength trader. So we're going to trade tomorrow is the um, single strength trader once again, and it gives us the best opportunity to capture a move and minimize risk in an uncertain market. For what I have right now, and there's a few Nasdaq strategies that could as well, especially if the market sells off at the open, starts the bottom, and if you have the opportunity to get in on some long trades with some tight stops. You can do that. Like I said, the tick pulses, um, the EVPs are potentially some of the strategies that could be traded like that. Um, and some of the others that are in the stock index uh, portfolio that we've that we've released. On November 1st is FOMC. That's, that's a don't trade on FOMC. Um, FOMC D, don't trade on FOMC. But we have an FOMC trader in our portfolio, so we'll trade that. And I will um, talk more about that in tomorrow's video. These are the trades on the day for Monday, October the 30th, 2023, with one trading day left in the month. Hey, David Bean here. Welcome to Capstone Trading Systems' YouTube page. Be sure to subscribe to join our community of algorithmic traders. We are real money traders. We share our winning streaks. We share our losing streaks, as well as market updates strategies and coding tips.